everyone. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Smith and today we get to read a book that, oh, the first time I read it, I did not think I was going to like it. It's called Mouse Count. Can you read that? Mouse Count. You got it. The first time I looked at this cover, I thought, mm, I can already tell that it's about mice, which I don't really like. And there's a snake in it, which I don't really like. But then I read the book and I realized that the mice do something clever to outsmart the snake, to trick the snake. And then I decided, actually, I do like this book. I like it a lot. So let's read it in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about the number 10. Can you do that? It's the number 10. You got it. And of course, the reason I hold up all my fingers is because I know if I count five fingers on this hand, five fingers on this hand, it will make 10. Can you count them with me? And you can hold up your fingers if you want to, starting one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All my fingers makes 10. I love knowing that. It makes it super easy and simple to count. Okay, you might be looking at the dot pattern board behind me and saying, mm, there's only one problem, Miss Smith. You don't have 10 on your dot pattern. You're right. I don't have 10 yet. Right now I have four and four, which I think only makes eight. Will you check it with me starting one? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, yeah, that's an eight pattern, not a 10 pattern. If I want to make it a 10 pattern, I have to add two more. And where I do that is one on the bottom row and another one on the bottom row. And now I have eight above, two below, and that makes 10. Will you count it with me to check it? Starting one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job. Okay, so let's read Mouse Count and find out how do these little mice trick a big snake? One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. And can we count them to see how many mice there are? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten mice because, of course, the number we're talking about today is ten. You got it. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch out for snakes because, of course, you know what snakes like to eat, don't you? Mice? Yeah. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes and they all took naps. Uh-oh. Which, of course, if they're sleeping, it's going to make it much easier for the snake to capture them. They forgot about snakes and they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. Mm, can you use a snake voice to say, I will fill this jar with dinner? Ready? I will fill this jar with dinner. Good, good snake voice. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. First I will count them, and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count! And can you count them as he puts them in the jar, starting one, ready? One, two, three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Uh-oh. And I think I know where he can find more because aren't the other ones taking a nap too? Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Can you do it starting on four? Ready? Four, five, six, Seven. But the snake was very, very hungry. 
and seven mice were not enough. At last he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Can you count them starting on eight? Ready? Eight, nine, ten. Oh dear. Can we count them kind of slowly and see if he really did get all ten? Starting one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh dear. He did. He found all ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I am going to eat you up, little, warm, and tasty, said the snake. Hmm, I wonder could you use a snake voice and say, ten mice are enough. Ready? Ten mice are enough. Good. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look at that big mouse over there. The snake was very greedy. That means he wants as much as he can get. The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. Except, why would one of the mice tell the snake where to find another mouse? Hmm, maybe this is where the trick begins. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and another way until over it went. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. I wonder, can you uncount the mice and count backwards starting on 10? Ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. What? <sighs> Except it kind of looks like a mouse. You could kind of see a nose and maybe a little tail. And when he got back, the jar was empty. Hmm. Too bad for him. <laughs> and even though there aren't any words on this page, I picture the little mouse standing on top of the rock that looks like a mouse saying, ta-da, like we did it, we got away. Can you do that, ta-da, ready? Ta-da, good. <laughs> Those little mice are so clever to trick that big snake. Okay, before we're done, I wonder if I Point at the 10 pattern. Can you do it in the air with your finger and count all 10 dots starting one? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like 10 in a dot pattern or 10 little fingers or 10 little mice. <laughs> Good listening today. See you next time. Bye.